Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online education channel. Today in our video we are going to discuss the role of artificial intelligence and human resource. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. First of all, as we know that a human resource is one of the important parts and departments within a company as it's directly affiliated with the lives of the employees working within this company. We know that the employees need to have a well-communicated and healthy work environment for them in order to be efficient and more productive. So here, HR is playing a crucial role to make sure that every employee is feeling safe and is getting the required help which may provide them space for more creativity intelligence and empathy to offer excellent work from the other side we know that ai which is one of the most advanced and growing technologies today has helped a lot of improvements it helped in improving the HR department. For example, AI automates and completes the majority of low-value HR tasks. Here, more attention may be focused on the strategic scope of work. So we can say that AI has the potential to give more revolution to enhance the employee's experience in a variety of ways from recruiting to talent management to administrative and legal support we are going to discuss all these uh, benefits in our video today so first of all we know that the benefits of using ai and hr are many we will start by helping and saving more time ai relieves hr of its repetitive time consuming tasks so we know that the hr staff can focus more on complex assignment the administrative and legal help desk are turning to artificial intelligence in order to respond automatically to questions asked by employees. For example, where is my training application? How many day offs I'm entitled to? So AI refers to correct legal documentation or it refers questioner to the right expert. For example, the chatbot is responsible for the aspects of HR management, such as staff absence, leave, payroll. So AI can help find the correct legal documentation or the right expert, it can check the accuracy of all declaration. So AI can personalize social benefits based on employees' profile. It also helps in choosing candidates because we know that recruitment is another field where AI can be very helpful. It can be used to simplify the search for candidates, managing application, identifying profiles that meet the selection criteria for a given position. So here the chatbot can be used to talk to a candidate in the form of pre-recorded questions such as collecting data about skills training and previous contracts help in acquiring talent so here talent acquisition is also a very important task of the hr department Bringing in talented individuals under the group will lead 
to the potential growth of the company. So here, using AI and HR may be found also in talent acquisition. For example, from screening applicants to maintaining database, arranging interviews, it helps in reducing the hiring process and time, allowing the HR team to focus on more essential tasks like sourcing, personnel management, recruitment, marketing, and other productive activities. It also helps in orienting newer recruits. We know that on the first day after recruiting, individual AI-based Consolidated system will teach newly recruited employees how to incorporate knowledge, rules. The new workers will get all the required and necessary data, such as a job profile information, business regulations, task assignments, team member information. It may also help in training the recruits. So the employees will be able to study and teach them themselves. So they will teach themselves about appropriate roles and needs using the AI development services. It will also assist them in staying current by providing data on current technologies, software advancements, Also, it helps in personalizing career paths. We know that the AI approach to training involves a shift from acquiring business skills to customizing career paths. With the advent of learning analytics, training techniques are evolving. Here, the data for tracking learning modes can be used to represent the people, learn, and individualize suggestions for skills development. So we use the AI to identify talent not detected by the HR and the managerial teams. Also to detect talent with the high risk of leaving the company. It may also help in enhancing the employee's experience. As we know, the employees anticipate a helpful and constructive experience when they join customized engagement because of the high degree of automation and the big focus on customer experience surrounding the environment. So here, the employee's experience are being shaped by the consumer technology these days. They are searching for alternatives for how they want to be more engaged and supported. The AI may be efficiently integrated across the employee life cycle from recruiting and onboarding through HR service delivery and career pathing, resulting in a personalized employee experience. Finally, it helps in being more, commitment, more committed we know it's a kind of motivation toward more commitment. AI provides opportunities for pinpointing the employees who are at risk. Maybe they need to uh, sign their uh, to, re to resign or for improving the understanding of the social phenomena in companies. Moving to the risks when using AI. Data is the key ingredient for artificial intelligence and its quality is of paramount importance. So here, if the data injected isn't good, then the result will be vague or distorted. In addition, data sets in the field of HR tend to be narrower compared to other areas. So here, the number of people employed, including in large companies, appears to be particularly low compared to the number of purchases uh, made by customers. So also the quantity counts. So the quantity of, for example, sales observation for an item is very important. So here, 
the data quality is important and the restricted quantity so we should avoid them because uh, in order to manage the risks moreover so the quantity and the quality of data needs to be taken into consideration as well as how to embed uh, it in any context and time interval that may encourage the analysis and decision making return on investment we know that investing investing in AI can be costly with HR managers concerned about budget and return on investment so it's another risk to be taken into consideration finally the dangers of gimmickry so here we know that in many in, in many organizations a further danger lies in wait for artificial intelligence which is the descent into gimmickry a downward spiral uh, which must be emphasized doesn't just threaten artificial intelligence but also management tools more broadly so here while the major hr software is now equipped with application that can monitor a veritable profusion of hr indicators so here a question can be asked isn't there still the risk that will grow in a sea of information whose relevance and effectiveness raise questions so we can say yes to hr tools and no not to gimmicks. Thank you for watching my channel.